Welcome to State of Tech. My name is Jared, and I'm sitting here with the ASUS 15.6 inch Republic of Gamers Strix GL502 VS Notebook. Now, that's a lot of words, uh, considering that the computer that I'm putting this up against is just called the MacBook Pro. Um, so, I've, I edit a lot of video. We edit a lot of video here. We put out a lot of video content on YouTube. And so, the editing video is super important to us and the speed in which a computer renders out video is super important. So in comparing a Mac to a PC, which we've been using Macs for a long time, it's only recently that we've dipped back into the world of PC. And really that has come from Apple not keeping their stuff up to date. Uh, MacBook, the MacBook Pro hasn't really seen much of an update in quite some time as far as uh, under the hood hardware goes. And so I wanted to see, you know, just how much time am I losing in life by rendering out video on a Mac versus rendering out on a PC. And the numbers or the time, it just blew me away. Now I put up this laptop, which this is the Intel Core i7-6700HQ quad core um, with a base clock speed of 2.6 gigahertz. I'm throwing also throwing some of the specs up on the screen. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM. It has an NVIDIA GeForce 1070 with eight gigs of RAM on board, a VRAM. It's just a monster as far as performance. It has an NVMe solid state in it, and it also has a one terabyte spinner, 7200 RPM spinner in it. Um, so this laptop, it's just, it's a powerhouse. It has a lot of performance to it. And then with the MacBook Pro, um, which is off screen, but the MacBook Pro that I put it up against uh, is about, a, about two years old. It has, you know, a little bit older of a processor. It does have 16 gigs of RAM, um, just like this does. Uh, obviously the GPU isn't nearly as fast. So there's, there's obvious reasons why this laptop would be much of a better performer when it comes to rendering out video. So I wanted to know just how much. So I took a recent wedding that we edited because uh, one of the things that I do is, is wedding videography. And so one of the videos that we edited, I wanted to see which computer would render it faster, the MacBook Pro or this computer. And maybe, you know, knowing that this computer has a lot, a lot better performance because when you render video out, you're using the GPU a lot. I was thinking, you know, okay, what's the difference? You know, what's the difference in performance? Because if I, if it, if it was close to the same, I would want to hang on to my MacBook Pro because I ha I've had it for so long. Um, it's a great computer. It's small. It's lightweight. The battery lasts a long time. Um, it's nice, uh, durable machine. And then, you know, this is big. It's a little bit heavier. It doesn't fit in my laptop bag. It's uh, kind of plasticky. Um, it has a, a lot of... it's. It's obviously marketed towards gamers, and that's fine, but it has gamer branding all over it. Um, and so, you know, what's gonna be the difference in rendering? Well, the, the ASUS rendered out the video in well under 10 minutes. Uh, it was crazy how fast it rendered the video out. Now, I've recently built a PC, which I was gonna use as my main rendering machine for editing and rendering video. And that has a very powerful GPU. It has a, 10, a GTX 1080 in it. Uh, very powerful. Everything in that tower is just performance for rendering and video and all that stuff. Um, so the performance of this was just slightly slower than my more expensive PC that I built. However, the performance that I got out of the MacBook Pro was very poor. Uh, I was on to the next challenge with this laptop while the MacBook Pro was still barely halfway done rendering. The MacBook Pro ended up finishing in well over 20 minutes in the, the amount of time that it took to render out a video that was about six minutes in length. Now, to me, that's a lot of time wasted. Also, the MacBook Pro was basically pinged out. The fans were running, everything was, was running at, at its max, and I wouldn't really be able to do anything else with that computer. Whereas with the PC here, it had enough performance left over on top of doing its render job that I could continue to browse the web. I could even go back and start editing another video in Premiere and still have decent performance through that entire process. So not only is rendering a fraction of the time on this type of computer here, um, it has enough power left over for me to do other things. So as far as a video editing computer, this computer right here, this laptop or this notebook is much better than a MacBook Pro. Now, that's not to say that the MacBook Pro is poor at everything in comparison to this laptop. 
Obviously, the GPU is what's important when editing video. And if you're not familiar with that, it's the, the GPU is the graphics card. It's the it's what performs you know any rendering, any type of uh, GPU assisted. Um, workload that the laptop would have. And that typically is video editing, gaming, you know, a lot of stuff like that relies more heavily on the GPU than it does the CPU, which is your computer's processor that runs instructions and does, you know, most of the other tasks that your computer does. Now the MacBook Pro has a decent video card in it, but it's nowhere near the performance of the video card that's in this laptop and that's available in a lot of other PC laptops. The highest level performance that you can get out of a Mac out of a Mac laptop is what's in the MacBook Pro. And it's just not the kind of performance that we would hope to have. Now, if you're using Final Cut Pro X, you're gonna have a lot better performance than if you're using Premiere Pro on a MacBook Pro because Final Cut Pro X was built for the architecture of that computer. Obviously, Final Cut Pro X doesn't have to work on any other system other than a Mac. So they built that software to work with that architecture. And it also has some other features such as thing, you know, your footage starts to render in the background before you even need to render it out. So the rendering process is different on Final Cut Pro X than it is Premiere Pro. But if you're like me, you use Premiere Pro and you want the best performance that you can get. And this laptop right here is what offers that. So if you're interested in this laptop, I've put a link in the description below. Um, though it is branded for gaming, it is a powerhouse of a workload machine for rendering video. And even if you were just to, you know, you wanted one machine kind of to do all of your work, you could do it on this computer. Now I'm gonna produce a full length review on this laptop. I, I love this laptop so far, but there's a lot that I also kind of don't like about it. Um, and that probably comes with the fact that it is a sub $2,000 laptop, but it has the performance that beats out laptops that are significantly more expensive, such as the MacBook Pro. Top of the line MacBook Pro is gonna cost me close to three grand once I do all the stuff to it. But this computer right here was under two grand and it more than outperforms, more than doubly outperforms in video work uh, than the MacBook Pro. So definitely check out the link in the description below to learn more about this laptop, find out the price and the specs and all that good stuff. Uh, and then stay tuned for our full review of this laptop. Uh, I think it's gonna blow you away some of the things that this thing is able to do. And, and it's under $2,000. That's actually a lot of value for the money when it comes to performance. So make sure to subscribe to our channel here on State of Tech uh, to get notified when we put out new videos, such as the review of, of this Asus notebook and uh, other videos like that. You'll get notified and it helps keep us making videos. So thanks so much for checking out today's video and we hope to see you soon here on State of Tech.